Ladies and gentlemen, this is Envoy of Kairos, back for a reaction to the August 3rd Pokemon Presents. We're going to have a ton of new Scarlet and Violet news drops here. My screen is a little fucked right now because the premiere has not actually begun, so I can't hit full screen on this, and uh, the ratio's off, and I'm going to have to do some obnoxious editing later. But... I've got a wonderful guest with us here today, Ben from Ben and Biz. Oh, do go on. <laughs> he's an old friend, he's been on the channel a couple times before, it's just been a while. Uh, the timing hasn't been quite right for us to collaborate on a lot of things, his sleeping schedule is completely screwed. So, what are you expecting today? I've got a lot of expectations, but that has a lot to do with the many, many, many leaks that I have... Uh, obviously avoided speaking with you about. Well, I'm going to be very blunt with you. I just want to see what the starters have all been do. I think there's a good chance we're going to get that. Um, I'm also expecting to finally find out what the region's actual name is. There's been a couple different ones floating around. The legitimate leakers have not really said anything one way or another about any of the names. Probably because to them it's just not really important information. I mean, I can actually see where they're coming from with that. That's fair. However, I am going to lose my mind if the just stay on two legs meme ends up coming full circle and it doesn't. Okay, gonna have to Holy edit that audio. Holy Moses, that is a loud premiere. Yeah, it always is. So, other shit to expect, um, something about the region's gimmick. There always is one nowadays. We had Megas, Z-Moves, and Dynamax all in a row. You know what I think would be a great gimmick? Bringing back Megas. All of the above. Personally, I think the best way to do it would be to balance Megas by making them function mechanically like Dynamax so that any Pokemon can do it, but then, you know, like the Gigantamax forms are specific ones that get new transformations. And it's on a three-turn time limit, so it remains balanced and nobody complain about it being game-breaking. That And now be it has begun. Again. Hello, everyone. I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. In today's Pokemon I'm uh, always caught off guard by that voice coming out of, of that games, face, simply because Pokemon I know Scarlet what he actually Pokemon sounds like. Yeah. Also, it's odd that they have um, that, I'm happy to share Ultra Beast plushes in the background. I didn't know those were even products. UK this year, from August 18th to August 21st. Oh yeah. Please have a look at this video. Don't really oh, care too much trainers. for the card game, but, uh, you know, that's Company largely because I can't afford the money sink that card games in general are. On our annual Pokemon World I don't you play the free version that's After online. Three years, our global community because I've already got August Duel Masters to play. To to in London for not only Fair. intense Pokemon battles, but also to be together. Celebrating like, old friendships as soon as Yu-Gi-Oh! put that out on the spirit of friendly Discord, if I ever have a craving to play a card game, that's just my go-to. ...around the world to compete in this year's trading card game, video game, and Pokémon Tournament Deluxe. So, while they're still discussing all of these tournaments, um... ...earning their invitation over several years. <sighs> other stuff I'd absolutely to love to see here. We're obviously gonna get a couple of other this new Pokémon. There's some ones that were hinted at and mentioned by, um, you know, no artwork, no, uh, no names or, uh, specific typings or anything. But there were quite a few that the concepts for them were mentioned by some of the credible leakers that I would absolutely love to see show up here. We also have a few surprises um, for fans attending in person. Oh, I need to get back into playing that, though. Pokemon Center World's Pop what, you've been playing the MOBA? For those unable to attend in person, I actually liked playing Unite when it came out, and I fell out of it. Oh, well, maybe you should get back into it. Including coverage. And the thing Every that bothers me is I didn't even fall out of it for any, like, reasons like, oh, I didn't like it. No, I liked it fine. 
at the World Championships inspired It's the only MOBA I actually enjoyed playing. <laughs> yeah, way, that's fair enough. It's my honor to Cuz like as many times as Sam has tried to get me Pokemon into Dota, World Championships I just aggressively don't care. Yeah. I don't know, I can't get into the MOBA scene because it's far too toxic for me, but you're much better at handling toxic gamers, so... Well, there's the thing, there's no real good we chat system in that London, game, so you don't get the toxicity. To to Mr. That's a good point. Thank you very much, Mr. Brown. With the Pokemon World it sound like Gen 5 music in the background, Neil? Please look forward what? to exciting battles to keep you on the edge of your seats. Now... I'd like to share some news that about... That does kind of sound like Gen 5 music. Don't do this to me. For the first time in three years, we held in-person Pokemon Go Fest events in Berlin and Seattle. And this weekend, we will... Yeah, Go Fest events, events have gone terribly the last few years, and the game is not creatures known as Ultra doing well with the whole pandemic event. thing. And these Ultra Beasts Especially since we've got a new one starting up with Pokemon Go Fest fucking Monkey Pox. It will be held on yeah. August 27. The and COVID's not even done. Yeah. I don't recommend getting COVID. It's not fun. Trainers will be able to Me encounter neither. Pokemon they may not normally see in the wild. They can also encounter the mythical Pokemon Shaman by completing special research. Will you be able to help re-attend so. with the Ultra Beasts? And what has become with the hints that were made Willow in the original space, trailer. The Stay tuned for the story. How conclusion. much do you think they're going to delve into the daily adventure incense has pirate themes the of a, a Spain based region? Can be used once a day and I can only hope. Minutes. It can attract Pokemon not normally seen because in area. that sounds dope. Say it might even I mean, one thing I gotta say about that we, we know that they're always going to have a new object every mon in every generation. Over the past six years, we've seen yeah, Pokemon from every region debut, in and they've Pokemon done some game. really interesting mechanics with various Pokemon other. To the uh, oh god, this game just reminded me that the first Hisuian Pokemon that they added into Go the was fucking Voltorb. Oh uh, yeah, have the others even been added yet? I haven't played Go basically. Uh, I think so. Actually, at all I since you got me into Poke Farm. Pokemon United, yeah. the hot app for Nintendo Switch and mobile devices. If they're not careful, Poke Farm will fucking usurp PokeGo. Well, it's frankly better, so. Especially for somebody like me who lives in the middle of nowhere and can't take advantage of most functions of the game. Truth. So anyway, um... A new type of quick battle, Pika Party, will begin today, August 3rd. Okay, what the In fuck is this? Type of quick battle in celebration of our first anniversary, all Pokemon on the field, both wild and players, are Pikachu. We hope you join in the festival. And they have a boss battle for Gigantamax Pikachu. Okay. Yep. Additionally, Buzzwool will be joining and the surfing Pikachu today, August third. Buzzwool is anyway. Um. Oh yes, Insect Broly. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Run amok in battle with Buzzwool's ability. I do think a lot of UB should have pre-evolved forms, though. Like Buzzwool is one that needs one. Oh yeah. If it ever comes well, back at this point in the franchise. But well, that's if they let you see their Pokemon ecosystem. Tonight. We're planning more events for September as well, so please. Hey, that'd be a fun Ranger-style spinoff. And we're Warp Rangers. Oh, a Rangers game where you actively go into the Ultra Worlds? That would be awesome. It would be. But yeah, uh... Mario looking snazzy in that jacket. Yeah. But back to the pirate theme and, you know, Object Mon. Uh, I would bet anything that we're gonna get some kind of doubloon Pokemon. There's a mountain. <laughs> oh, is that Man, red waiting up there? Red. That's red. This is gonna be for, this is gonna be for Pokemon Masters EX, and I'm gonna be disappointed because my phone can't handle that game. Nah, it's not Red's costume for that. Ah, damn it is. That was fucking Hilbert too. I recognize hey. that scruffy motherfucker. <laughs> Still, uh, that's just reminding me that we've never had a proper animated rendition of the Mount Silver battle. 
which is I'm just the price. I'm surprised they had it be Hilbert instead of fucking gold. Yeah, it should have been. Oh, what's going on, Mewtwo? What's this? Looks like Mewtwo's back oh. in the Pokemon Cafe Remix game, and it's hungry. Okay. Make delicious drinks and dishes with your cafe. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I actually adore time. that game. Really? Once you make a lot of delicious drinks like, I never play it for long, but up, look at them. Your staff. That's fair. I mean, it is Oops. frankly adorable. And the fucking food Here's they make is adorable. How to play the yeah. And that has me thinking that if they uh, make a proper Did Pokemon one. section that to the Nintendo staff. theme park as planned, they should probably have some of so the items staff, in this game recreated in its place. restaurant. Pikachu, Squirtle, the I'd be surprised if they don't Victoria. already. And the newly arrived it's probably already the plan, yeah. Although I think there should the be a Metroid score, section to the park first. Go to the Pokemon menu to start I don't think kids would like it. Them. Oh, it'd be popular. You give them challenge. laser tag, it's Time gonna be popular. One minute cooking. On to the well, yeah, then Ridley comes out and three mixing. kids shit their as pants all at once. Well, I mean, it'd probably be laser tag with Samus arm cannons, and then Ridley would just be like a statue tucked into the corner of the room with a couple of other bosses hidden around the arena as well. And there's more. Follow That'd be cool. Latios, who just appeared today. Latios will also appear in the future. Wait, there's even more. We have a special Or I have seen one thing. Uh, I forget this what ride it is at Disney, but there is also a thing where you can do like Pokemon Cafe a rail shoot, like an in-person rail shooter with laser tag. And that would probably be pretty great for Metroid. You mean like the Men in Black ride from Universal? Yes. Oh, there they are. Hopefully we see their evolutions today. It's already not staying on two legs. Next up, an update <laughs> Pokemon Scarlet. It's already not staying on four legs. <sighs> this is what everyone's tuning in for. Yep. This is gonna be good. Oh, we got Growlithe and Arcanine, and they're looking really good. Saucebuck is back, nice. The Puppies. new Wooper! That was a regional the Wooper. The Nooper. If you will. <laughs> God damn it, man. But now nah, it looks like it's going to be a uh, ground or er, yeah, Today, a ground psychic whooper from that coloration. I'm cut. just so amused at the fact that I can use a home star joke Travel to introduce that to my wife. It's brown. Ah, uh, everybody called this. The region. This is so dumb. And it looks like old that old man is going to be like a political leader, possibly champion in the region. Excuse you? Headwings. That's cool. Getting to ride a legendary across the whole game. The what the fuck hole. was that in the background there? There was a new Pokemon I there. I missed it. It looks like there it looks like Sunflora was... is gonna return in some importance. Oh! New dog. Don fan back for the first time in a while. That, um, okay, these character designs are great. They are. I saw a little bit of lag on the Pokemon in one of those clips. How dare they show us anything laggy? <laughs> okay, the the texture mean? improvements are great. This is true. Whoa! But it. With you. I'm going to actually like say something arbitrary now, like if every line is not voiced, this game is a failure. Nah. Learn together. Okay, this is looking better and better. Oh my god, Electros is back, no. Yes. You better you better say your land praise prayers. Uh, oh, the new mechanic. It is a type change. Oh shit! Okay, those are some cool designs. Might say that one fan game. If they don't have a Crystal Weavile, I'm going to be very sad. Oh, crystallized versions of the legends. Let the treasure hunt begin. Okay, that's pretty fucking cool. 
Yeah. And a lot of the new designs they tucked in there were awesome. That big, that big lizard one that showed up. How, how much you want to bet that's an ice poison? Into the information presented. So let's take a closer look together. I start. The newest no, no, titles in the Pokemon series mm. are the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Well, we already got Glalie for I start. These and titles Weavile. will be open world RPGs. Yeah, the first yeah. for the Pokemon series. Sprawling landscapes and vibrant towns weave together. See that to that potted Sunflora there, even if it's not you know, alive, it, it tells me that Sunflora is going to come back in some capacity and probably have a third form in this. These are the legendary Pokemon, Coridon and Miraidon. You'll rely on one of them as a partner in your adventure. Climb on, and together you'll dash across grass. This is interesting. Get getting legendaries early Move on. Water and glide Which tells the me the plot is going to be a lot more focused on uh, their functionality and how they relate to the third legendary, which will probably end up being the final boss. That is true. And a good guess. You will be enrolling at a certain academy as a student. Psyduck as a secretary, that's and great. And a special independent study project awaits you. The treasure hunt. Through it, you'll embark on a journey to find treasure of your own, here in Paldea. Oh, Paldea, you know, that is one of the rumored names I heard rolling around. One story mm. will revolve around the familiar gym battles. Well, I'm kind of focusing, you'll I'm go sorry. Eight Pokemon gyms it's cool. And aim for the champion rank. In these games, there is no set path you must take when challenging the gyms. Chart your very own course along well, good. Victory Road. Okay, so we got an ice type leader that's a uh, skiing champion. Sedian, it's a whale. And discoveries as well. Which story will you begin with? How it's a narwhal. Through them? It is Are all they going to be bringing to back you. Mirror Ball? I would be fucking impressed. Professor Sada. And he Professor was in the Coliseum Turo, games. Research legends passed on oh, no, in the Paldea region. Mr. Clavel is the director of the academy you'll attend. And Mr. Jacques is your homeroom teacher who teaches biology. You'll hmm. have your battle loving friend, Nimona. And you'll meet Arvin, an upperclassman and a great cook. There's also Penny, a shy They did not call either of them your rival. There are gym leaders too. It's probably another like case Grusha, of multiple rivals. The, ice -type gym leader. the people you meet in Paldea are sure to enrich your adventures. The character designs in this game are on point. This is true. Many different species of Pokemon also call the Paldea region home. Ooh, Rotom just this floating Pokemon around in the city. Is the Paldean regional form of Wooper. Yeah. It lives on the land and covers its body with a poisonous and there it is. film. Oh, it's poison. Fido. Are delightfully squishy Pokemon that are smooth to the touch. Fido, okay, that's a great Which has a large body and a hard horn that can freeze its surroundings. It's a titan, and it's definitely a narwhal. We also have the Pokemon from which you'll choose your first partner Sprigatito, Fuecoco, and Quaxly. Enjoy meeting lots of Pokemon and complete your Pokedex as part of your adventure. A lot of good returning species here. Yeah? Uh, Stone Journer? Come on, that'd be one of my first cuts. Well, By using the Union there circle, is a lot of similar ancient play, architecture in the region, friends. so it makes sense. You can go Just because it makes sense doesn't mean it wouldn't be my first cut. Or even Fair. ride together to race across the map. Enjoy all the Paldea region has to offer with family and friends. Oh, Hatterene's back. I mean, she's only from one gym ago. I, I would honestly be surprised if nothing from the uh, if anything from Galar doesn't Pokemon return. Shine mm. like gems. There's probably going to be a lot more Colosseum Pokemon though. Colosseum. Colosseum. Oh, Colosseum. Okay, yeah. All Pokémon in the Paldea region are able uh, to terastalize, which can provide a boost to a Pokémon's type and make its moves stronger. Okay. I swear those are just going to be Pokemon crowns and I'm going to be bored with this. Okay, so just hats. Seems to depend on that so a lot of them change a lot of them change types when they do this. 
I know. For example, but their an EV would typically remain normal type <laughs> after terastalizing. <laughs> But there could be EV that become grass or water type after terastalizing. Oh, so it's like hidden move, and each individual one will have a different a type they can types. become. Oh, it's another new element Pokemon to that add have to rare catch tables. Are more likely to appear in Terra raid battles. And it's a new type of raid battle. You can challenge Terra Pokemon in these battles with up to three other trainers. This is a new kind of raid battle, where you can attack or heal with your own timing without having to wait for your allies. Try to cooperate oh, good. with your allies <laughs> to get the upper hand in these battles. Because really the old um, Giga raids were kind of just Pokemon, you'll get the opportunity to a mess. Catch it for yourself. Yeah. Improving, like it was a good idea, but improving but, on its mechanics definitely helps. No. That was a slick throw animation. That it was. We've kept all the things you love about Pokemon. I really can't wait to hear the, the uh, standard overworld theme Pokemon in this game. Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Cause guess who confirmed he was hired to compose we it? Hope you look forward to who? the day you set out Toby. on your adventure. Oh, that makes sense. Toby motherfucking Fox. The Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games are available to pre-order at participating And he's composed multiple other major pieces for this. Like, you can't avoid his music this time like you could in, uh... In Galar. study in the Paldea region begins in three months. Wow, only three months until this drops and we've still barely gotten anything. That's all for today's presentation. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching. I swear, they literally, like, tease, your, tease the starters longer and longer with each generation. They really do. And, uh, to top that off, um, the new Wooper, Poison type. From what I've seen some from mythological research, I bet anything that's going to turn out Poison Dragon. What I want to know is why Zaboomafu is in the recommendeds for this fucking presentation. <laughs> When is the last time you consciously thought about Zaboomafu? I have no idea. Still, excellent presentation. We finally know the gimmick, we know the region name, we saw a lot of great character designs and new Pokemon designs. Less of them than I expected, but enough to be satisfying. Getting a Narwhal was definitely an interesting pick. That is true. I that never is... would have expected that. Hopefully, next time we can see something about the plot and potential villain team. I've seen two major theories as to who the villains could be in this one. Because of the whole school theme, it could be a huge uh, collective of delinquents, giving it a similar feel to both Team Yell and Team Skull. But. Also, a lot of theories about a potential pirate-based team. Either or, maybe even both, considering the duality of Skull and Aether Foundation. So who knows? The duality of that. For now, I'm going to cut this here and get this edited and up hopefully by 10. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Envoy of Cairo signing out. Ben, thank you for joining me today. Oh, yeah, anytime, man. And as soon as I'm done with editing and getting this up, I gotta record some Digimon Survive to try and stay ahead on that. Oh, yeah, you've gotta survive, man. Later, guys. Later. <laughs>